My name is Robert Clark. I'm a photojournalist. I've taken an assignment to travel around Cambodia and shoot pictures with a cell phone camera and share them to my friends and family in New York. The technology has advanced to such a state where you can shoot a picture and then you can share it with people. I use a cell phone camera as a diary. The really great thing about the cell phone camera to me is that it's immediate and that's the great thing about texting images. I think one of the problems people have a lot of times is they're too far away from what they're interested in. Get up close to something and shoot five pictures of it and then make what you see in your head on your camera. I'm constantly interested in people's faces and there's something about style that is fascinating. There's a woman walking down here with those baskets. There's a certain people that you meet, they work really hard for a living. I think he was a 17 or 18 year old boy who was dropping charcoal at different restaurants. His hands are so strong. My wife loves food. Hey Lay, I'm uh, shooting a picture of noodle soup and I'm going to send you some pictures. A lot of life is on the streets. So it's nice to be on motorbikes or in tuk-tuks because you're kind of in the middle of how people are living in a real sense. Cambodia is an amazing country. People are incredibly sweet. Almost everybody's approachable. I shoot pictures of people that you find interesting. I like to send thanks to my friends to let them know I'm thinking about them. All the hair that we saw in those markets was real hair. And the Khmer Boxing Gym was a great example of a place where I went and people weren't paying very much attention to me because they were there to train and to learn. It was really fun to go to this workshop. The kids working on the traditional leather crafts and then they gave a shadow puppet play. I like being in the back, seeing behind the scenes and going places where other people don't get to go. So I always feel like I'm the eyes and the ears of the audience. I shot some pictures backstage, the dancers getting ready for their performance. So there's a lot of mythology into this history and technique of Aspara dancing. You can transmit something that you shot without leaving the place you're already happily shooting away. They call Taparm the jungle temple because a lot of these temples have these huge trees growing through them. You have to work early in the day and late in the day because the light gets pretty hard pretty quick. Or if you're shooting in the middle of the day, what I've done a lot in the past is switch to the black and white mode because things look better in the middle of the day in black and white because it's more of a compositional exercise than just looking for good color. The significance of Siem Reap and Angkor Wat is the center of their empire was located here. There's so much information that's on the walls of the temples. You're supposed to be learning the history and talking about it as you walk down. Most importantly, you need to shoot, 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 shoot as much as you can.